way, right? And so from Epoch 6, not only do we want to transcend and include all of these levels of development, development is envelopment, right? We're nothing without our building block. You know, you don't build a beautiful house on a rotten foundation. Right. And not only that, but from Epoch 6, we have to be aware of gender and gender tendency, and we have to integrate those poles within us. It doesn't mean we don't tend towards a certain gender or masculine or feminine dynamic. It means that we have awareness to how both of those need to play out in us and be integrated and integrated into the world. And postmodernity has created a disaster around this with trying to create so much equality that they loot that they try to wash out any type of uniqueness or even so much of postmodernity won't even acknowledge biology and it's disastrous right I've got more testosterone in my body than you do but I know that I'm aware of that. I'm aware of male and female. I'm aware of masculine and feminine dynamics and the need for both of those and the integration for both of those. So I may still tend towards agency in my communication, but hopefully honoring the communion and understanding the communion and ultimately integrating that communion in myself integrating that healthy feminine dynamic in myself, but it doesn't mean that that becomes neutral, completely neutral in me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to push into this in a little bit of a way that is not always uh, a, a popular, but that's kind of what I do, right? I'm a provocateur, and I don't mind that because energy comes out of the, the polarization, and one of the with, with the with the trending towards with with the 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 overstepping of agency into mo the modernist wor world view with you know all of the men owning corporations women not getting equal pay all, all of that tr was true right and maybe it still is true but the, the point was that this extreme agency that created this male strive drive that you know created uh, pathologies within corporations and everything being about money and all, all of that stuff you know the the response to that then was postmodernity it was and, and so when it starts to air it airs on the other the extreme the excesses of the other side of that and we have to be very careful right now about the the, the, ec the excesses of the feminine dynamic coming into postmodernity and I'm very convinced that that is currently happening and, it, and, and it's the same kind of backlash that's coming. You're seeing it coming, it's, it's, it's happening right now. It's why we have Trump. It's one of the primary reasons that that has happened because of the excesses that have now happened within uh, the, the far left liberal dynamic uh, that, that there's a, there's a there's a demand for Trump to refer to people as white nationalists, but Obama refused to call people Islamic terrorists. And it's the same fucking structure of consciousness, and it's the same problem. Refused. Absolutely refused to do it. You understand this? because somehow that was marginalizing or unfair. But it's apparently fair to use race in a white national moniker or designation. And not only fair, but should be explicitly called out by the president. It's the exact same situation. 
and Islamic terrorists and white nationalists are also operating from exact same structure of development, pathological ethnocentric development. And as it slides further and further and further into that, if you're not skillful, what quickly happens is it starts to look like, whether it is or not, it starts to look like that it's not just pathological masculinity that's being pushed back against. It starts to look like it's masculinity that's being pushed back against. Smash the patriarchy. Smash the patriarchy. And that is going to create disaster because it's not how development works and it becomes highly unhealthy.